at any moment. Am I dreaming? I mean, am I dreaming, Richard? I mean, Dex? Shh, Dex? Shh, I'll explain it. I'll explain everything Dr. later. Dr. Parnell, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Just tell me right now. Are you all right? Were you hurt? Oh, God. Guess we what hurt. I heard was thinking I'd never see you again. And then when he told me you were dead, it was like someone stabbed me in the I'm heart. So, I'm so sorry. That doesn't matter because you're alive. Darling, darling, you're alive. I'm so sorry. I'd have to put you through all that. It was the only way. We didn't know where to find you. We didn't know where Edmund was holding you. But we didn't know if he thought that I was dead, that he would release you, and here you are. I'm it's sorry. Okay. It's okay. No, it's, it's not okay. okay. He's going to pay for everything that he's done. But right now, we've got to get out of here. All right, now, that means you're going to have to keep up this grieving widow act for just a little while longer. Can you manage? Just tell me the plan. It's dangerous. We have to be very careful, or it could be the end for both of us. All right, once we're en route to the cathedral, I'll get out of this bloody thing. What about the driver of the hearse? The, the driver is on our side, okay? He's in on it, and so is your driver. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. All right, once the motorcade arrives at the cathedral, Dax will be there. He'll help you out of the car. And then he'll start leading you towards the steps. And then? And then you'll faint. Now you have to give an Academy Award winning performance. And once all the focus is on you, I'll get out of the hearse and slip into the limousine. You're going to have to be out for, for a good minute. I can do that. I can do that. All right. All right, then, then, once, once you come out of it, Dax will be there. And you'll tell him, you just, you just can't, you can't go through with it. You're much too distressed, okay? You've got to go back to the palace and you've got to lay down and you've got to rest. Wait, Dax. Dax is in on this. That's how you survived this stabbing. He helped of you course, stage Dax the whole thing. Of course, Now, Dax will obey your command. He'll help you into the car. But that's where you'll be waiting for me? Yes, and then we'll, God, be, then, really... shh, then we'll go on our way to the airport and I'll put you on a chartered jet back to Springfield. Put me on a jet? Yes. Are you coming with me? Darling, I can't. No, Richard. No, I spent the past few days thinking I would never see you again. That's not a feeling I ever care to feel again. Listen to me. I am not leaving this island unless you come with me. <laughs> darling, darling, stop it. We're not going to be apart for very long. I'll be back in Springfield in a matter of a few days. Oh, a few days? A few seconds is too long, Cassie, Richard. Think, think of your children. Your children need you. They miss you desperately. They need you. I need you. And Philip's children need him. I promised Philip that I would help him get Lizzie and James and Beth, for that matter, out of here. Now, you wouldn't want me to break a promise like that, would you? What I want is to put my arms around you again. I want to read bedtime stories to our kids together, and I want to make love to each other, and I want to grow old together, and I'm so afraid that if I leave you, it won't happen. Shh. I had the same fear. When we had to leave you on that bloody beach. But I know you were alive. I could feel it. I believed that I would see you again. And believing that was the only thing me. So we were right to believe. Hey, she's got to hold on. You've got to keep the faith just a little while longer. I'll come back to you, I promise. And we'll never be apart ever again. Now please tell me you understand. Kissy. Sorry for interrupting. The mourners are waiting. It's time to take Richard to his final resting place. <laughs> <laughs> 